mystical love and light here that time again to um read the mystical creatures bible by brenda um rosen i got my magnifying glass so i can see the fine print the book i show the book every time because somebody might not click on the videos in order and I don't want them to be lost on. What is she reading? Okay. So, this is the guide to legendary beings. So, this next one that we will be um, going over is... I'll show you the picture. Um, this is... Um, Bogart, B-O-G-G-A-R-T, and I will put the name on the bottom of the picture because I'm sure I'm mispronouncing them. And it is this one. Also, too, this next picture on this one is a wood nymph, a wood nymph. I'll get a close up and then back off. So let's see what it's got to say about this. Now we'll be reading directly out of the book. It's under Sacred and Magical Creatures. Many of the mystical creatures explored here have supernatural or magical abilities. More powerful than mere humans, but less potent than the supreme deities worshipped in the world's fates. These beings often bridge the gap between religion and folk beliefs. Some creatures are generally, um, let's see, where was I? Uh, are mischievous or overly malicious. All reveal something significant about the hearts and minds of the people who tell stories about them. The natural elements. One broad grouping of sacred and magical creatures consist, consist of being that personify, personal, personify or control some aspect of, of the nature world. In Greek mythology, uh, each tree and grove was under the protection of a female natural spirit called Dryad. In Mesoamerican beliefs, important agriculture forces such as the winds, rain, thunder, and lightning were honored in defined form. In Egypt mythology, Heket, H-E-K-E-T, the goddess of fertility and childbirth, had the head of a frog, presumably because of the millions of frogs spawned each year after the flooding of the Nile. In Japan, there is a folk belief that earthquakes are caused by the underground movements of a dragon-headed beetle called Jinchung Mushai. That's J-I-N-S-H-I-N dash M-U-S-H-I. And uh, the trouble, the troublesome forces, another broad grouping consists of creatures that are troublesome or destructive. Some are persifications of evil forces such as Rangda, the child-eating demon queen in Balinese mythology. Others are giants or monsters, either humanoid being such as ogres, um, gorgons, and zombies, or animal forms such as Kotal, a shape-shifted monster from a folk tradition of Belgium that can appear as a large black dog with le leathery wings or as a bat, raven, or cat. 
Troublesome or mischievous creatures include household pets, such as a British Bogart, that was a picture I showed you, who might cause you to misplace your keys, as well as trickster spirits, such as the Native American coyote, whose pranks upset the usual order to help people break through fresh ways of thinking. And that concludes this video on the sacred and magical creatures. And once again, I will show you the pictures. And thank you for watching. Mystical Love and Light here. All things spiritual. Bye.